to, to the, the Burger, Burger Republic, Republic, for which it burgers, one burger, under burgers, into burgerable, with ketchup and mustard for all. All right, you may be seated. Woo! All right, we want to welcome everybody back. My name's Wyatt. And I'm Chris. We're the Burger Boys. Uh, last week we had our first bankruptcy episode. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. We ended up hitting the uh, big boy. Yeah, we had to eat a burger for under five dollars. I, I think we came pretty close. So I think we did uh, very well. Check out the link above to watch that episode. Yes. So without further ado, we'd like to thank Chris Wallace for his suggestion of Club One Eighty Five. Yeah, Club One Eighty Five. It's like a little bar kind of tavern place off of Livingston. Um, Looked like it had a pretty good burger when we looked at their Google stuff. So nice. We'll try it out. We'll check it out. So let's hit that burger song. It's the Burger Wheel of Fate. Give it a spin, it's a great. We got 36 spots, can't wait. We got some mystery, avoid the bankruptcy. The Burger Wheel of Fate. All right. Woo! Yeah, without further ado, let's yeah. spin that wheel. I'm hungry. The Pine Pint House. All right, all right. That's actually been recommended a few times. Yeah. So, to, the to the Burger Mobile. Pickles and onion rings, chopper old meats. These are the things that the Burger Boys eat. The Burger Wheel of Fate determines where we eat. So prepare for us to try all your burgers and fries. Munching and crunching and gonna have lunch in here. The Short North Pine House is located at 780 North High Street. This American-style neighborhood bar has Short North's only beer garden. Cooking up a large selection of pub grub and featuring 75 beers on tap, they leave no appetite unturned. Their sister locations include the Standard Food Hall, Short North Food Hall, Forno Kitchen Bar, and Goody Boy Diner. All right. All right. Just got back from the Pine House. Yes, indeed. Lots of pints. A lot of pints. They had a bar that seemed to go on for about a mile. It did go really yeah. far back. Probably. It was cool, though. There was probably like 70. I think they said 75 it was, beers yeah, on tap. 75 beers on tap. And um, really cool spot, though. Liked it. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually, I think, one of the first times that we got the same. We were forced to get the same burger because there weren't many on the options. There either. wasn't, yeah. So they had just the regular eight ounce house burger yeah and then had a veggie option so yes. if you're into veggie stuff they at least had that option for they you. have that for you yeah so getting right into it we'll go to the burger um so i thought it was okay it um it had a decent taste i thought it could use a lot more seasoning for sure and it was a little well done for what i usually like it so i ended up giving it a four yeah i think what happened is maybe his got stuck on a little bit longer i mean they yeah. both came out really quick so it was fast yeah um, i got mine medium and mine was fine yeah so but so when we get to the burger score i give it a six okay um, i enjoyed mine it was pretty good so. nice very cool so for the bun amazing it was a brioche bun toasted Loved everything about it. It was, um, yeah, great taste. Held through. Yeah, the bun amazing. Was, the bun was a showstopper. It was, Jeez. it was great. Like I, as soon as we picked it up and you could feel the crunch on the inside, I was like, this is gonna be an enjoyable experience. Oh yeah. Uh, so when we got to, the, when I got to the bun, I also gave it an eight. Yeah, we go eight there. That was great. So for the toppings, um, nothing too crazy about it. You know, it just came with uh, cheddar cheese, which was nice. Yeah. A little different than uh, American every time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So good melt on it. Uh, the lettuce and tomato, all the vegetables, they seem nice and fresh. So that was cool. So I ended up giving it a five. Yeah. Um, as far as my toppings, I got ketchup, mustard, and cheese. So oh. not many toppings to judge there, but it was all tasted fresh. I mean, it was, uh, it was good. So I gave mine a six. Cool. Very good. So we get to the accessories. Um, we got both got fries. Yeah. 
and I liked them. They were they were pretty big. Yeah, they were thick. Like, Ooh, thick. Thick puppies. They, so I was I was a little apprehensive at first. I was True. Like, These are gonna be real potatoes. Like them small and crispy. Yeah. But they were actually pretty good. They had a nice they crisp were. on the outside, and they were soft and fluffy all the way through. Oh yeah, really tasty. And the pickles, they made them in house. Really loved yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Had like a little was, zest to it. Yeah, it was something it was super tasty. Good. And so, the water. Oh my goodness. I uh, I was gonna get a pint at the Pine House, but kind of fell in love with that high quality H two O. It's clean. It's cold. That's what I call high quality H2O. Oh! Ooh. That's yeah, they, they bring you out the uh, nearly a little carafe of water. And yeah. Little, two little glasses so you fill your own ch chilled water. It was, very tasty. It was very refreshing. It was oh, a little, yes. it was warm today, so that was a nice refreshing like thing to be first be greeted with when it's they true. came and sat down. I felt so. uh, very, you know, hydrated. Yeah. Did you end up scoring? Um, no, I gave it an eight actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I really loved everything about it. Yeah, I ended up giving it a seven. We cool. both really like the accessories and uh, right. real good. So yeah, we'll move to experience now. Okay, so the experience, cool spot, really yeah. neat. Long, long bar goes all the way deep in the, like a downtown block. Man, which I, is couldn't, really cool. I couldn't imagine how busy it would be if it was fully packed on a Saturday I, night. I couldn't imagine the capacity, probably in the upper hundreds. Yeah, so. no, they had, and in the bar it seemed to like kind of snake, so there's lots of bar space, so it's not yeah. just one long bar for you to have to stand up against. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in the short north, so, you know, I mean, obviously, what comes that, you're going to have parking issues, but yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know, I mean, they're starting to put lots, and there's meters everywhere, so... Yeah, that comes with the territory with the short north, it's going to be kind of difficult to park, but yeah. if there's tons of hotels in the area, so if you're in town for a convention or something... Oh, yeah, it's, walking distance? Oh, it's for sure walking distance. And then Take there's all bird. kinds of... Oh, a little bird, tweet, tweet. And then there's also... Um, there's all kinds of uh, desserts around there. So yeah, true. after you get your burger, you can go around and get you some Ginny's ice cream. Oh, or some there's lots of ice cream yeah. spots, yeah, for sure. So it was pretty good overall. Yeah, fast service, liked yeah. everything there. Um, I gave it a seven. Yeah, I gave mine an eight. Cool, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we really enjoyed that place. Very nice. So get down to cost value. Um, it was all right. I think I paid, it was like around 20 bucks for just the burger and the, it's nice the fries come with it. Yeah. But uh, you know, I you get what you pay for, so I'm gonna go for a five. Yeah, uh, we were both sitting at fives because it was uh, kind of middle of the road price, both about twenty bucks with a tip. Yep. And like you said, you get what you pay for. It definitely was fresh ingredients. Oh yeah. I mean, it didn't feel like anything came in a bag per se. No, it was good. So yeah, we both were sitting right in the middle ground. Yeah. So I ended up with a thirty-seven. I gave mine a forty. Oh, so it looks like we're averaging out to a thirty-eight point yeah, five. Thirty-eight. That's. Pretty solid score. That's I mean, all right. You're on the list. There's some stiff competition to be against. There is, for and sure. And for just having a burger, you yeah. know, like at a decent spot. Was that eighth place? Yeah, eighth yeah. place. Not so bad. unfortunately, the first restaurant that uh, graced our board um, is going to fall off the, the oh, board. Oh, hoof hearted. Yeah, I'm sorry, hoof hearted. Uh, pass and win there. Yeah, you got to pass and win somewhere else because. Uh, no longer on our top 10 list. You'll still right. be on the overall it's all, right, all time list. Still a tasty burger, I gotta say. Yeah, oh, for sure. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. Go check that episode out here if you wanna see our first episode, see how far we've come. Woohoo! Yeah, all so, right. uh, yeah, that was Pine House. Not too bad. Yeah, not too shabby. Yeah, liked it. Yeah, so while we got you here, hit that subscribe button. Oh. Maybe hit the like button next to it. Nice. You'll get a notification when we go live, and then uh, you'll be able to watch the video when we go live, and we'll comment along with you. For sure. And then check out our Teespring page. Oh, yeah. We've got all, all kinds of new designs coming up every like week. This one. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's that's nice. Nice. And uh, definitely, if you got a spot you like or want us to try out, put it in the comment section, and we will most definitely pop it up on the wheel. Yeah. Be sure to uh, catch next Wednesday coming up. We're still catching up on our Facebook page, getting yes. our. Uh, I think our last episode that uploaded was Hadley's. Hadley's, yeah. That was a good one. So, yeah, we're getting caught up with that and uh, should be good. Yeah, so make sure you go give us a follow and uh, stay tuned for next time. Indeed. So, until then. So, we came here, gave it our review, and now the burger buzz will be back soon.